And I like how, how Bill teaches you where your, your set point is. You can lean a little bit back to the point where you feel your abs start to turn on and then come back into center. That way you can still have structures through the front of your body. And just for a moment, uh, check in with yourself. Close your eyes. Relax the shoulders. Soften all of the ideas, thoughts, and feelings. Taking a deep conscious inhale and a slow purposeful exhale. With your inhale, sweep your arms up overhead and release the left arm next to your left heel or thigh as you reach up to the fingertips, creating space for breathing. Windmill the arms up and over to the other side. Use support from your hand as you lift up out of the waist. Let's come back up to center. Interlace the fingers at the top and rotate the palms up to the sky. Shift the gaze up, open through your chest slightly. And then lowering your palms right about shoulder height. Press the palms, knuckles forward, and then round your back as you tuck your chin to your chest. Relaxing now, your arms by your sides, ready for breathing. Just take a deep, conscious breath in. Open your mouth, release the breath. Inhale, peak. Mouth opens, releasing. Breathe in, through your nose, breathe out, jai breath, inhale, exhale, breathing in, Pause at the top of your breath. Exhale your breath. Take another full cycle on your own. And let's meet together in child's pose. The practice of Vairaja or non-reactivity. We're looking at the emotions, all the stimulus that is surrounding the human experience. We withdraw through Pratyahara so that we have space to respond, not react. Moving through our practice today, just pay attention to the ideas around the practice, the ideas around your, your pastures. And try to soften them a little bit. Coming back into what is present and true. And we practice together. Reach your fingertip to the right corner of your mat. Place the left hand on top of the right hand and lean your hips further to your left heel so you can feel a light stretch to the left side of the body. Exhaling to deepen. Walk the hands to the left corner of your mat, right hand on top of your left. As you press the left palm down, lean onto the right heel, lengthen the right side. Come back onto center, and let's find all fours. Let's begin moving uh, in cat-cow, your pace, lifting the heart, dropping the belly, and rounding the spine, hollowing the front of the body. And you can continue in this forward and back motion. If you like to barrel your body, you would be moving your body from left to right, up and back. That's another way to approach the movement. And if you like to include your toes, draw your toes underneath and then shifting your body back and forth as you move through your cat cow or barrel motion. Just in a way that it feels curious about the experience of opening the body. 
if you like to include your wrist, take a quarter turn left and right, and then shifting weight left and right, feel into the perimeter of the hand. Noticing how your breath is moving. Rotate either palm as you come back to center towards your face, fist and release that hand a bunch of times. Just like a squeezing and stress ball. And you can rotate the hand in a circular motion left and right. Putting light pressure to the top of the hand and then shake that hand to let go. Do the same to the opposite one. All right, guys, returning back to center, spread the fingers wide. Index point straight forward, noticing the triad of your hand, the index and thumb fingers. As we move into inversions, anything that is on our hands, try to ground a little bit more through that space. Inhale the breath. Tuck your toes, lift your shins, hover, inhale at the top. Exhale, lower the knees. Hold at the bottom, breathe in. Lift your shins, hover. Inhale, hold. Downward dog, exhale your breath and just pedal it out. Bend the knees, left to right, walk your dog. Move your hips. Notice in your hands, if you're shifting the weight of the heels of your hands, come back into that triad point. As we turn back into center, build a neutral down dog. Spread the fingers shoulder width, feet you put distance. Pull the shoulders away from the ear and try to bring the belly closer to your thighs. So your sits bones are lifting up into the sky. Belly, abdomen, draws in. Lift the heels, inhale the breath. Bend the knees, belly to thighs, exhales. Listen, shoot forward, plank, inhale. Bend the knees, belly to thighs, exhales. Shoot forward, inhale. Bend the knees, belly to thighs, exhales. Last one, move forward. This time, piking back, downward facing dog. Shifting the gaze of the hands, lift the heels, taking steps forward until you reach the top. Bend the knees when necessary. Just noticing more weight on your palms, lighter through your feet. Once we get at the top, ragdoll. Grab a hold of the opposite elbow, rock to the left and right, create space so the upper body can hang heavy with gravity. Shake your head, yes or no. Start with a soft bend at the knees and then progress. Bring the hips up a little bit higher, feel the stretch in, your, in the hamstrings. Moving down to the shoulders, interlace fingers behind your low back, maybe a towel, and then feel the range of motion start in a progression, noticing where you hit your stretch, release a little bit, and then progress a bit further. You can also rock left and rock right. Exhaling completely. Releasing your grip. With your inhale, sweep and rise to standing. Reach your arms up overhead, right arm reaches up to touch this Keep the sky, rounding further through the right foot and lightly over to the left. Come back to center, left foot presses down, left foot, left foot round, rounds, left arm reaches. Bring your body further to the right. Return back to center, reaching both palms, impossibly high. Taking a soft back bend, maybe cactus the arms as you lift the heart beaming up to the sky. Turn back to center and float the palms down in front of the heart. Breath your heart, drawing in. Creating space for intention and purpose. And we'll set our collective intention to move and to breathe as one. It's still with two ohms. Take a deep breath in. Ah.
Arms to turn by your sides, take mountain pose, feel your purpose, exhale your breath. Reach high, inhale. Swan dive, tears. Long backs, inhale, prepare. Right foot steps back, take a lunge, build your lunge for a moment and just feel the power of your legs. Back leg straight, straightens as your quadricep engages. It feels like your back knee is being lifted up towards your hips. And lower the hips enough so you can feel a nice stretch of your left hip and through the right um, hip flexor group. Reaching up through the collarbone, expand it wide, exhales. Release the back knee, untuck your toes, keep leaning as far forward as you can. Feel a stretch when you're ready, tuck your chin to your chest and follow the belly. Approaching the left, the left temple towards the inner knee. Exhaling. Tuck the toes, straighten the back leg. Ready the legs and core, sweep your arms back, exhales. Inhale, sweep high, find your crescent lunge. Listen, bend your back knee and lightly tap it back into your mat. Press up, inhales. Bend the back knee, lower back, back down. Straighten both legs, reach up, inhale. Bend both knees, right knee taps back into the mat. Last one, inhale. Straighten both legs, now just bend the front knee, bring the hands to the mat, step back to plank. Find your plank, arrive maybe the knees on the ground if you need support. And just noticing where the pressure is on your hands, try to bring it to your fingertips, knuckle pads. Feel the strength of the arm structure into the shoulder girdle. Inhale the breath. Exhale lower, a quarter of the way down. Pushing back up. Lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Keep your palms slightly more forward than shoulders. Inhale, cobra. We're gonna stack it small, lower. Medium, maybe wider. Lower halfway down. Higher, maybe widest. Lifting up, right shoulder lowers to center. Back into starting position, left shoulder lowers to center. Knees to the right shoulder, back to center. Inhale to your highest. And release and come back down. Thumbs under the shoulders, stay on your knees. Push up into plank on your knees. Inhale the breath, hips back to heels, chest pose, breathe in and breathe out. Come forward, final force. Tuck your toes, hips high, surround, downward facing dog. Heels rise, inhale, sweep your right leg up. Then into nose, cheetah. We extend. Knee to right elbow, mountain climber. Meeting chaturanga arms, lift up, inhales. Chida exhales. Inhale, reach. Exhale, big step to the right thumb. Find your lunge, build it out first. Turn on the back leg. Noticing as the front knee bends, it demands pressure from the right quadricep for support. Try to lower the thigh and then lift your chest. Inhale the breath. Lower the back knee, untuck your toes, lean forward and tuck your chin to the chest. Hold the front of the body. Take your expressions, hold. And release, tuck the toes, straight the back leg. Ready the legs and core, sweep your arms back. Sweep high, inhale, press and lunge. Bend the back knee, lightly tap it behind you. Push and straighten both legs, lift up. Exhale, bend both knees, back knee lightly taps. Inhale up, exhale down. Building fire, inhale up, just bend the front knee, hands touch the mat, rock forward, standing splits. Start light, keep a soft bend in the front leg. And then as you start to inch your body forward to lengthen your spine, breathe in. And then lower the chest further, closer to the thigh, and the leg lifts at the end. Release the left, it meets right, fold it forward, exhale your breath. Inhale, sweep high, reach up. Inner loop the thumbs at the top, separate the feet, keep with distance, heels away from center, pull the thumbs, 
and take it back. Try to lengthen your tailbone, realigning your, in your hips, realigning your energy, muscular and soft simultaneously. Now let's realign in perspective. Draw inward, exhales. Back to center. Find a chair. Bend the knees, lower the hips. If your feet are apart, the knees are apart. Otherwise, feet and knees together. Depends on what feels comfortable to you. Inhale, hold. Exhale, fold. Long spine prepare. Left foot steps back, lunge. Bring the front leg towards straight as you land. Moving to pulsing lunges. Straighten the front leg. Exhale your breath. Bend your knee, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, breathe in. Place the left hand under the shoulder. Pivot both feet to the right. As you find your hips are stacked, maybe inch the right heel underneath the knee. And then open your chest. Lower the hip down into the ground and reach the arm towards your foot. Press up, inhale, bicep by the ear. Lower down. Push through the right foot, guys. It'll open through the top IT band. Lower the hip. Lift up, inhale, listen. Stay here. Bring the right foot on top of your left into side plank. You can lower the left knee if you like. Warming up the body, stay here or bring the elbow to knee for five, four, three, two, one. Come back to plank. Lowering halfway down, push back up. Lower halfway down, lower the knees, upward dog, straighten the elbows. All right, take a moment, check in. Tighten the abs, engage the inner thighs, and maybe lift your kneecaps. Pull the heart through and open the collarbone. Inhale, gaze up, tuck the toes, or roll it back on your feet, downward dog. Inhales, and exhales. Heels rise. Inhale, sweeping your left leg back. Exhale, knee to nose. We extend. Mountain climber to the left. We extend. Knee to nose. We extend. Mountain climber to the right or cross underneath you. We extending high. Take a big step forward, lunge. Pulsing lunges. Straighten your lead leg, push your hips back. Bend your knee, inhale. Straighten the leg, exhale. When you knee, breathe in. Straighten the leg, breathe out. Inhale, hold. Bend the knee, right hand under the shoulder. Pivot both feet left. Maybe walk the left ankle so it stacks up underneath the knee. So be mindful, not feeling side pressure on your knee. Lower the right hip down. Extend the left arm towards your foot. Exhale your breath. Here you go, push up, inhales. Lower down, exhales. Push up. Use the right hand to push the earth away. Lower down. Last one at the top, hold. Integrate and then step the left foot over the right. Find your side plank. You can stay here with any grounded or pulse with me for five, four, three, two, last one. Come back to plank. Lowering halfway down, chaturanga flow. Up dog, inhale. Downward dog, exhale your breath. Keep conscious, inhale. Open your mouth, sigh out. Heels rise, inhale the left leg high. Just because we have to exhale, take a big step forward, lunge. Rack forward, standing splits. Start with the upper body in a diagonal. 
put a soft bend on your standing leg and then approach the chest down to the knee as your right leg lifts, hold and release. Right foot meets left, folding forward, exhale your breath. Inhale to a long spine. Exhale and fold. Drop the hips to the knees. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. As you exhale, sweep the arms back as you lift the heels high. Inhale, sweep high, heels lower. Exhale, sweep back, heels lift. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. Inhale, high. Exhale, low. Inhale, high. Pause, lower the hips another inch. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, forward fold. Bring the left hand catty corner to the left foot. Extend the right leg behind you. Stack the hips, half moon. Maybe unweight the left hand. Also, before you unweight it to deepen, can you lower enough to get the palm to the floor? Keep the body there, then unweight the hand to half prayer. For three, two. Now bring both hands to prayer. If you need to, you can place them down, square the hips off, soft bend in the left knee. Take a big step back, find your wings. Keep the upper body lower, sweep the arms forward, inhale. As you exhale, arms back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. This time, inhale, sweep high, crescent lunge. Spin the back heel flat. Warrior two, sink a little lower, maybe just a little lower. Let's take a full breath in and a full breath out. On the inhale, shift the gaze towards the back hand, flip the palms tilt forward, bent knee triangle. Form the thigh, right arm high. Maybe deepen by unweighting the left hand or forearm. Spin the right shoulder open, hold. Exhale the breath. Inhale, reverse the warrior. Left arm goes high, right hand on the thigh, or maybe a half bind. I like to sometimes bend my elbow and bring the hand to the back of the head as I pull the elbow towards the ceiling for three two, and release, windmill the hands down, spin the back heel high, twisting lunge. Right hand beneath the shoulder, left hand to the thigh, stack the shoulders, send the left arm high. Now bend the left elbow, bring your hand to your shoulder, and then we're gonna pulse your left elbow towards the ceiling for five, four, Three, two, last one, re-extend the arm, hold, and release. Place your left hand down, step back to plank and pause. Shift the weight into the left hand, pivot on the side of the left foot, right arm goes high, side plank. Extend the right leg, and let's pulse it for five, four, three, two, one, slowly pivot back, keep your right leg lifted, three-legged flow, halfway down. Inhale, three-legged up dog. Exhale, three-legged down dog. Take a full breath in, with the right leg lifted, full breath out. As you exhale, take a big step forward with the right foot, rock the weight forward, standing split. <clears throat> Bring the palms to heart center. Warrior three, prayer hands. Now slowly lift the upper body, keeping your left leg straight as you very slowly come back to standing. 
arms by your side, mountain pose. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, Utkatasana. Inhale the breath. Exhale, forward fold. Bring the right hand caddy corner to the right foot, left hand to the hip, half moon on the other side. Extend the left leg behind you. Maybe the left arm goes high. And then try to get your palm to the floor at the deepest. Then if you want to challenge balance, unweight the right hand. For four, three, two. Palms the heart center. Square the hips off or bring the hands to the mat to find balance. Level your hips out. Take a big step back. Find your wings. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Keep the upper body lower. Inhale, sweep forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. This time, inhale, sweep high. Spin the back heel flat, warrior two. Sink a little lower. Steady the breath. Pratyahara drawing inwards. Shift the gaze over your left hand, flip the palms, tilt forward, bent knee triangle. Form the thigh, left arm high. Keep reaching out to the crown of the head, lean from the spine. Maybe deep and whenever you're ready. Twisting the shoulder open for three, two, exhale. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Taking the arm expression of your choice. Maybe a bind, maybe bending the right elbow. For three, two, and release. Windmill the hands down, spin the back heel high, twisting lunge. Left hand beneath the shoulder, right hand to the thigh, stack the shoulders, send the right arm high. Now bend the right elbow, bring your hand to your shoulder, and let's pulse the right elbow up toward the ceiling for five, release. Four, release. Three, Release, two, release. This time, re-extend the arm to your highest. Place your right hand back down. Step back to plank and pause. Shift the weight into the right hand, pivot on the side of the right foot, left arm goes high. Lifting the left leg, let's pulse for five, four, three, two, one, slowly place your left hand down, pivot back, three-legged flow. Inhale, three-legged up dog. Exhale, three-legged down dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. As you exhale, big step forward, left foot to left thumb. Rock the weight forward, standing splits. Bring the palms to heart center, warrior three, bare hands. Slowly lift the upper body. Right foot comes to the mat. Down pose. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, Utkatasana. Palms to heart center. Prayer twist to the right. Extend the left arm down. Maybe it reaches the mat, maybe it doesn't. Right arm goes high. Bring the right hand to the shoulder. Let's pulse the right elbow up for five, four, three, two. Re extend the hand, hold, and release, forward fold. Drop the hips, bend the knees, inhale, chair pose. Palms of heart center. Twists left. 
Extend the arms wide. Left hand to the shoulder. And let's pulse up for five, four, three, two. Reach into your highest and release forward fold. Drop the hips, bend the knees, inhale, chair. As you exhale, sweep the arms back, the heels lift. Inhale, sweep high, heels lower. Exhale, back, heels lift. Inhale, high. Exhale, back. Inhale, high. Exhale, back. Inhale, high. Exhale, forward fold. Pulse the legs to the left and right, just kind of resetting your legs for a moment. Soft bend the knees. On the next inhale, chair pose. Palms are heart center, twist to the right. Extend your left hand down, maybe find a block or floor. Right hand can go high or maybe stay at the hip. And then we're gonna shift the weight into our right foot. Unweight the left heel, draw it towards your tailbone. Take a slow, controlled step back. And then find your twist to the right. Hold. If you need to modify, drop the knee down. For three, two. Place both hands down, spin the back heel flat. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg, reach forward. Tilting straight leg triangle. Deepen whenever you're ready. Put a soft bend in the knee, exhale the breath. Inhale, reverse the triangle. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Now listen, inch your right foot back a little. And then we're going to bend the right knee and cartwheel forward half moon. Maybe find a bind. Slowly bring the right hand back down. Left foot meets right. Forward fold. Drop the hips. Bend the knees. Inhale, chair pose. Palms to heart center. Prayer twist to the left. Now bring the right hand down towards the, flat, the floor. Left arm goes high. Shift the weight into your left foot. Draw the heel to the tailbone. And when you're ready, take a big step back. And then find your prayer twist to the left. Modify if you need. Hold. Slowly place both hands down. Spin the back heel flat. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. Reach forward, tilt, straight leg triangle. Deepen when you're ready. Soft bend the left knee, exhale the breath. Inhale, reverse the triangle. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse. 
Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse, inching the left foot back a little. And then cartwheel forward, bending the left knee, half moon. Maybe finding a bind. Hold. Slowly place both hands down. Right foot meets left. Forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Coming into a prayer squat, separate the feet, toes point out, palms together, elbows to the inside of the knee. Lower the hips down. Draw your hands down. Then flip the fingers down, draw the hands back up. Then coming to crow, place both hands down. Lift the hips, heel toe the feet in. Knees, armpits, or chins to triceps. Rock the weight forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, smiling just a little, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and when you're ready, shoot the legs back, find your flow. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lift the heels high. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, big step forward. Rock the weight forward, standing splits. Bring the palms to heart center. Warrior three. Take a half step back as you slowly lift the upper body. Sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, twist right. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, twist. Bring the arms back high, palms together, heart center. Tip of the back foot forward. Gently rock the weight back, bend the right knee. Grab the Keep the knee bent and grab the big toe of your right foot and send the knee out. If you like, you can straighten the leg. Hold. Slowly come back to center. Switching the hands out. Remember the knee can stay bent too. If this is too much on the hamstring, dancing Shiva. For five, four, three, two. Slowly come back to center. Step the right foot out in front of you. Inhale, left arm goes high. Exhale, forward, twisting triangle. Lifting the right shoulder up. To deepen, you can walk your left hand forward. Extend the left leg behind you. Revolved half moon. Now place both hands down, step your left foot halfway back or step your left foot down, re-extend the right leg to a three-legged down dog, inch the left foot forward, and then bring your knee to your left elbow. You can pause here working strength in the core or rock the weight forward, side crow. If you know the other entry, feel free to take it. For 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shoot the legs back. Let's flow. Take a full breath in and the full breath out. Lift the heels. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, big step forward. Rock the weight forward, standing splits. Palms are heart center. Warrior three. 
Step your right foot halfway back. Sweep your arms overhead. Standing twist to the left. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deepen. And release. Both arms back overhead. Palms to the heart center. Pivot the back foot forward. Lean the shoulders back. Lifting the left knee. Left hand to the big toe side of the foot. Remember, you can keep the knee bent and open the knee up or to the left. If you feel balanced, maybe extend the leg. Hold. Slowly come back to center. Swapping out the hands. Dancing Shiva. For five. Smiling at four. Three. Two. So at least step the left foot out in front of you. Right arm goes high. Inhale. Exhale, four, twisting triangle. Right hand to a block book, shin, maybe the floor, lifting the left shoulder up. To deepen, walk your right hand forward, coming to a half moon, revolved half moon. For five, four, three, Two, slowly place both hands down. Step your right foot back. Re-extend the left leg to three-legged down dog. As you exhale, left knee to right elbow. Rock the shoulders forward. For 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. When you're ready, find your flow. Drop the knees down. Bring the hips to the heels. Pratyahara. Draw back inwards. Full breath in, long breath out. Give me a sip of water, go for it. We're gonna meet again in tabletop whenever you're ready. Right, guys, so begin moving your body in cat cow, moving your heart forward, synchronizing breath and movement. Inhales. If you didn't find that challenging, we'll add more challenge in the next set. <laughs> breathing in. I'm breathing out. Let's return back into center. On your right shin, pivot to the, a quarter turn to the right. And to a modified plank, so with the knee down, hand on the, under the shoulder, maybe a little bit more forward, open towards your left side, supported by your right side. Lift the left leg about hip high, bend the knee, and reach out for tabletop or side plank bow. Kick into your hand, and try to shift the gaze forward towards the top of your mat. Kick in, in to recreate the feeling of standing bow. Open through the chest to the gaze at the end. Release your grip. Come back to center. Keeping your left leg lifted, tuck your right toes, three-legged down dog. Now, keeping the heels as high as you can, inhale. Exhale, half splits or full splits. So you can send the left leg right through. Maybe stop in, in um, 
in a lunge and then move your hips back, half or full splits. You, you can place blocks underneath your hands. If you're going for full splits, tucking the back toes under will organize the energy of your back thigh. And that helps support at the same time that it helps you deepen. Turn on the right glute. It softens a little bit of the stretch because it creates tension. And we're just waiting here for time to pass. Time cures all. Deep breath in. Take a slow breath out wherever you are. Mindfully come out, inching the front leg back, back leg draws forward, find a lunge, moving deeper to lizard. So both hands to the inside of your left knee. All right, so you can stay high on your knee, or on your hands rather, or drop your elbows down. Notice the moment your back begins to round, you may have gone too deep. Focus on inching the heart forward, and then with a straight spine, Try to lower your elbows down into the ground. Just pay attention to where you are right here, right now, the texture of your mat, maybe the light sweat on your skin. Breathe in and breathing out. Breathing again. Breathe out again. Bring your palms underneath the shoulders. Frame the front foot with both hands. Tuck the back toes under. Step it back. Downward facing dog. Listen, walk your hands to the back of your mat. Turn on the thighs, roll it up all the way up into standing. Mountain pose. Bend the left knee, moving on to tree. So as you um, uh, rotate on your hip, not on your knee, place the left foot on top of your right thigh. The foot is gonna hold the foot up with the palm facing up. Just feel it into the thigh. Breathe in and breathe out. Without stepping the left foot down, move on to eagle. Eagle the left leg up over and around the right. Eagle the left arm up under and around the right. Sit down as your lower exhales. And unwind, guys. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Arms back by your sides. Tree on the right side. So bend the right knee, rotating at your hip, placing the foot on top of the thigh. All right, we're moving into short man on this thigh. So we're standing leg bends a little bit. Move your hips back in space so you can draw your hands down into the floor. Once you're down on the floor, walk your hands forward and lower both knees down into the floor. You may need an extra towel support if you're on wood floors. And as you come back down, our goal is to come up straight into, into a standing. Now, if this is too much for your hips, lower the shin down into so it's parallel with the floor and then come up. You notice the hips are going to be deeply misaligned just because this body positioning can be uh, uh, can be pretty difficult to find. Once your hips open, your foot could be right at the crease of your hips. Breathe in. And breathe out. Beach. All right, guys, so bringing the hands down onto the floor. We're going to bring our bellies down, laying down on the beach. All right, so the goal is to open the hip. Eventually, again, the foot could be at the crease of your hip. If that's where it is, knee is towards the back of your mat. And we're just waiting for the sun. 
Breathing in and breathing out. All right, here's the phone exit. Bring the palms on the knees and shoulders. Push up. Now pivot the left shin left and open your body sideways. So now you're on side plank, modified side plank option. Bring the toes to the ground, extend the bottom leg, and now you're in tree and side plank. Breathe in. Releasing the right leg, find your plank and pushing back, downward facing dog. Lower both knees to the ground. Inhale, heart forward, gaze forward. Exhale, round your back. Inhale forward. And exhale back. Return to center on your right shin. Pivot to the right, rather, left shin. Pivot to the left, quarter turn. Left hand under the shoulder, open sideways, side plank. Left the right leg, bend the right knee, reach out for the big toe side of your foot. Kicking into the hand, create a back bend. Feel the hip open as you reach up. Reach back, inhales. Unwind the guys, hands to the ground. Keeping your right leg lifted, pivot the shin, tuck the toes, three-legged down dog. Lift the heels as high as you can to create space underneath you. Shoot the right leg through, half or foot splits. Maybe stop in your lunge, lower the back knee, untuck the toes, front leg straightens. Or moving straight into your full splits, tuck the toes, and then inching the back leg back. Flex the toes so you can turn on your right leg for support. Your hands could be on blocks. Turn on the abs just enough to stay supported muscularly. Soften your face. We draw from stimulus. Inhales. Exhales. Unwinding. Inch the front leg back, back leg draws forward, back into your lunge. Tuck the toes, straighten the back leg, downward dog. Lizard lunge, rather guys, sorry, lizard. Thank you, Kendall. Lizard, we bring it both hands to the inside of the right knee and start with the heart lifted forward and then over time, draw your elbows down. I was ready to go to the beach. Breathe in, breathe out. Coming out guys, now do make your way to downward facing dog. Going to the back of our mats, walk the hands back. Bend the knees and roll it up. Tree on the right side. Bend the right knee. The right foot is on the left thigh. Nope, the other side. No, okay, thank you. <laughs> the right side first. So just a tree moving then onto eagle. Breathe in. Eagle the legs. Right leg up over and around your left. And the right arm up under around the left. Sit and lower, exhales. Unwinding, guys, sweep your arms up. Release arms by your sides. Now, tree on the left side, left foot on top of the right thigh. Knee opens to move down. Then your standing leg and aim the heart forward past your toes. Then lower the hands down to the ground. Walk your hands forward, support, and then lower both knees down into the ground. And you'll know the moment you, you're standing up, if the hips are deeply misaligned, lower the shin down into the ground. It could be a letter four, it could be a V. Take a 
couple of cycles of breaths here. Let's go to the beach, guys. Bring the hands down to the ground, move yourself forward. And you're trying to bring your hips square to, to the mat. So as you bring your body down, the gaze to the other side. Deep breathe in, slow breath out. Hips don't lie, guys. They don't lie. Come up. They scream. <laughs> they scream. <laughs> Let's come up. <laughs> We're going to pivot the right shin a quarter to the right and inside plank on your knee first with three foot. So you could be here. If you like to, go into lifted tree, bring the left toes down into the ground, push through the toes, straighten the bottom leg. And then work the tree from that position. Inhales, re extend your left leg, come forward, downward facing dog. Walk or jump to the top of the mat, feet close together, one step closer to your hands. Donkey kick or walk, I'll meet you there. Inhale to a long spine, fold it forward. Sweep high, inhale. Two standing bows, guys. Release the right arm back, bend the right knee. Reach out for the in, big toe side of your right foot. First side, the first time, a little longer than the second time, so pace yourself. Kick into the hand as you bring your body forward. Soften your face. Inhales, unwind. Windmill over to the other side, bend the left knee, grab the big toe side. Start from the beginning, organize, and then kick into your hand. Notice the power of the breath, slow it down. Find your edge. Unwind. Come back to center. You're welcome to work dancer or standing bow. Your choice. You have a strap or a towel. You're welcome to work with your towel or strap. The, work, the way to work it is to bring the ankle, the strap of the ankle, stepping the left foot forward. Now, once you come into dancer, your body and your shoulders are going to be squared onto the floor, grabbing the strap or just grabbing your foot. If you don't have a strap, don't worry, work into standing bow. Into your strap closer, hands closer to your foot. Breathe. And release. Other side, guys. Grab your strap or grab your towel underneath the left ankle. Once you have it, reach it back. Grab the sides of your strap. Bring them up overhead. Gather the glute of your standing leg. Press to the floor and then work your back bend. Find your edge. Unwinding your body. Return back to mountain pose. Take a deep inhale. Take a slow exhale. So it's all <clears throat> come to a seat on our mats. And we're going to work into inversions. And if 
you feel like going upside down and kicking up into walls, feel free to work on what you want to work on. I'm going to teach through eight angle pose. So, if we're working eight angle pose, first we're going to come into sundial. So we're going to bend the right knee, grab the back of the foot with both hands, draw the knee to the armpit on the right side. Lengthen the spine up, lifting the heart. Now take your left hand and bring it to the pinky toe side of your right foot. Take your right hand and drop it down to the mat or bring it to the back of your Achilles and draw your right shoulder under. Now place the right hand down and then ground to the right hand as you start pressing or pushing your heel towards the ceiling. Internally rotate the femur. The gaze shifts towards the bicep. And slowly bend the right knee again. Keep the shoulder as far beneath the knee as you can. And then we're going to work into eight angle pose. We want to clasp your right foot with your left by bringing the left foot on top of the right, pressing the two into each other, bring your left hand down to the mat, turn your elbow towards your rib cage. So maybe point your fingers out towards the left a little. And then we're dropping the shoulders forward at a 45 degree angle as we press into the right tricep, then push the toes out. And then you have eight angle pose. When you're ready, slowly coming back down. Play with it a couple times, and then we'll work into the other side. What really helps me is that left elbow has to tuck in, which causes my left hand to spin out a little bit, and allows me to shift the weight better into that hand and support my rib cage with my left elbow. So let's start working to the other side. If you want to play on the right side a little longer, feel free. If you want to use a hand towel or a strap coming to this, you can also do that as well by placing the strap around the back of the foot, drawing the knee to the armpit or a hand towel. And then we're going to, if you have the strap, we're going to grab it with our right hand, draw the left shoulder under as you grab the back of the calf or the Achilles and place the left hand down, rotate the femur externally, internally, and then shift the gaze up towards the right bicep. Slowly bend the knee, draw the left shoulder back under, place the left hand down, place your right hand down. Remember to tuck that elbow in so those fingers may spin out a little bit. Clasp the right foot on top of the left, and then press as you shift the weight forward, get to the point where you can lift a little, and then you're just bending the elbows just like coming to crow as you point the toes. Come on, Bill. Nice, everybody. Awesome, Bill. Air five. <laughs> nice, Jude. You got about another minute or two to play around, and then Monica is going to take us back. Actually, no. I'm going to take us through core. And feel free to work on whatever you want to work on.
That's a good <laughs> Don't get my dirty walls. <laughs> Monica really is getting precise in her um, hand stands and forearm balances because I'm just painting the walls and like no feet on the walls. All right, guys, when you're done playing, let's slowly come back to our mat. Close the eyes for a minute. Just sit up tall, shifting your focus back inwards. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Gently open the eyes. Place the hands down if you're in a C position and you can unweight the legs and send them out in front of you or roll the hips to the right and send the legs out in front of you. So bend both knees, cross your shins here. We're gonna work a pickup. Actually, let's don't cross the shins. Let's bring the heels to the mat, hands outside the hips, and then can we press through the hands, keeping the feet on the mat and beginning to lift the hips about an inch? Once you have the hips lifted, can you shift the weight back, draw the ankles in, and unweight the legs? Hold. And release. Give the knees a squeeze. Take a full cycle of breath. Now let's work that again. Bring the heels to the mat and make sure the heels are carrying part of the weight in the beginning so you can actually get the feeling of lifting your hips. Sometimes, depending on the length, the proportions of your arms, I'm really strong in my fingers, so it helps me to create more space by tenting my hands in doing this, but work it however it works for you. You can also grab blocks or books and place them underneath your hands. So let's ground to the hands and then shift the weight back. Hold and release. Send the legs out in front of you. Inhale, arms overhead. As you exhale, lower halfway back. I bet everybody can feel their core now. Inhale, arms high, because I sure can. Exhale, halfway back. Inhale, high. Exhale, back. Inhale, high. Exhale, lower for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, pause. Can you stay here, lift the legs, and give tiny little scissor kicks with the feet for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and roll all the way down. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Take another deep breath in, another long breath out. So bend the knees, give the knees a squeeze, rock a little left and right, extend the feet up towards the ceiling and point the toes. We're going to come into scissor, click, scissor kicks, which is like a Pilates movement. Lower your left leg to about an inch hover, bring the palms to the back of your right calf, and then we're going to slowly switch sides for 10, keeping the legs perfectly straight. 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, 6, 6, 5, 5, 4, 4, 3, 3, 2, Two, one, one. Give both knees a squeeze. Rock a little left and right. Full cycle breath. But wait, <laughs> there's more. Knees over the hips. Calves at tabletop. All right, so we're going to work the progression into a roll up and a vinyasa through back to down dog. So we want to strengthen the muscles that do that. So draw the knees as close to the chest as you can get them and cross your right shin on top of your left. Bring your hands, try to reach them past your feet. That's where you create the lift to roll through. And this is position two. Slowly lower the upper body down, palms towards the ceiling, position one. Exhale, position two. 
Inhale, position one. Exhale, two. And one. Two. And one. Two. And one. Two. And one. Two. Hold. Swap out the shins. And one. Two. And one. Two. One. Two more. Two. One. Last one. Come up. Can you touch the forehead to the knees? Breathe. And release. Extend the legs long. Arms behind you. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, open up the mouth. Loud, high sound. Woo. How's some work, everybody? I know my daughter is in the bedroom right now and she can hear us and she's probably going, please stop teaching class. <laughs> I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> Bend the knees, cross your favorite chin on top. And then we're gonna slowly start rocking back and forth, rolling onto the feet, finding that pickup if you can, then shift the shoulders forward, shoot the legs back, find your flow. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Another deep breath in, another long breath out. Let's come forward onto plank. Lower all the way down onto the mat. Six planks come up onto your elbows so your forearms are on the ground. Tuck and tuck the toes. Wherever you are, lift your kneecaps so the thighs are engaged. Not a resting posture, but one where you can find an effort and ease balance together. Try to draw your elbows to your hips and feel the pit of the abdomen draw forward. Close your eyes. Weaving heart mind energy to all the corners of the body, connecting to the big self. No, guys, that's not Kendall. Because his last name is Self. Deep breath in. Slow breath out. Lower yourself, right cheek on the ground. Variation of Sphinx. Come up onto your elbows again. And pivot that right shin a quarter turn to your left, towards your elbow, actually. Your right forearm, pivot to the left elbow, fingertips, so your forearm is parallel to the floor. Bend the back knee, reach out for your big toe side of the foot. So you're trying to draw your heel to your, to your hip, not outside as in a W, but it's almost just a touching the back of the glute option. Rotate the fingertips forward. Maybe your elbow begins to stack right over the shoulder, over the wrist rather. So it's opening your shoulder. If we're sinking the right shoulder, guys, push the forearm into the ground so you're lifted and buoyant. Breathe in. Breathe out. Releasing the left side down. Pivot the left fingers to the right elbow. Set it right this time. Bend the right knee, reach out for the big toe side of the right foot and draw your heel close to your tailbone, draw tailbone to the outside of your hip or right to the glute. You can stay here, wait for the quad to open. Or rotate the fingertips forward and let the elbow kind of begin stacking over the wrist. Opening shoulders and thighs at the same time. Breathe in, and breathe out. One more time, inhale completely. Open your mouth, side out. Unwind yourself, guys. Opposite cheek on the ground. Give yourself a cycle of breath in, and a cycle of breath out. Good. 
Bring the palms on your shoulders. Let's push up onto all fours. Tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. We're coming through to sit down, so inch your hands a bit closer to your toes. Shift the gaze through your hands. Bend the knees, pulse the legs a couple times. Jumping through to sit down. Jump forward, sit down. Adjust, sit down. Extend the legs forward. Inhale, arms reach up high. And on the exhale, take it all the way back. Fully recline on your mat. Bridge. Bend the right and the left knee. Rough, rough distance. Middle finger touches the back of your ankle. All right, bend the elbows, triceps on the ground, palms face each other. Ready? Exhale your breath. Press through your feet and your elbows and lift your hips off of the ground. Beware that the knees stay stacked over the ankles. So building mountain pose from the waist down. And try to distribute the weight evenly through the back body. So it's not just on the glutes, it's in the calves, the hamstrings, lower middle and upper back. Just avoid being on, your, on the back of your neck. If you like to bind, interlace fingers and draw your knuckles towards your heels. Drawing the shoulder blades closer can help you find that bind. And work height. And then breathe through the challenge. One more breath. Begin lowering your spine one vertebra at a time. As the tailbone lays down, just windshield wiper the legs left and right. Second bridge, guys, set it up. Same body positioning to start. On your inhale, press and lift. You have options. You can make it passive with a block or support under your hips or continue to make it active. And then when you're ready, ground the right foot into the mat and lift the left leg up to the sky. Two cycles of breath. Switch sides. Two complete cycles. Releasing the right leg down, lift the hips a quarter inch higher. And then lower yourself down to the ground. Windshield wiper. And you guessed it right. We're turning ourselves into wheels. Option to go back into a bridge if you like. For a wheel, guys, same body positioning from the feet. Except the arms extend up. Bend at your elbows so your fingertips are by your ears. It's okay if your elbows open, creating space for your shoulders. When you're ready, on your inhale, press and lift. Naturally, the hips, the feet rather have a tendency to open. Bring them again to point straight forward. You can create a little bit of height for your low back by lifting your heels off the ground. And then breathe and wait. If you're not in pain and you're comfortable, Try to breathe through it. Dig just a little bit deeper. Six, five, four, three, two. Tuck your chin to your chest, bend your elbows, lower down. Windshield wiper the legs to the left and to the right. Pinyasa through, guys. Draw the knees onto your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Rocking forward and backward, gaining a bit of momentum. Plant the palms. Shoot the legs back or just turn around. And I'll meet you in downward facing dog. Pedal the legs one last time. Moving on to one-legged pigeon. Lifting the heels, right leg lifts up. Inhale. Place the right knee behind your right wrist. Land in the knee first, extending the leg back and then moving the shin forward if that's what your body needs here. Give yourself a moment to stay up high. Notice what happens to your left hip. Draw buoyancy by isometrically hugging the right leg back and the left leg forward. 
as you relax, then make your progressions happen. Inhales. Exhales. One more time, breathe in. And breathing out. Listen, bring your palms under your shoulders. So we're gonna inch the left knee behind the right. So moving into cow face, just slide the left knee behind the right knee and you're coming up into a seated position. So you're stacking your thighs, and it really depends the volume. It makes it a little bit challenging if, if there's, um, depending on the, on the inner thighs. But eventually you want to bring your, your hands to your feet. You can stay here, upright, or maybe bring in the belly down into where's the thigh. Try to squeeze the inner thighs just a little bit and see what happens. Inhales and exhales. To unwind, guys. Come up high. Keep the left leg forward. Swing the right leg up over and behind. So now you can take pigeon on your left side. Option stay high for a moment. Give yourself the opportunity to let gravity work for you. Hug your muscles just enough. Breathing in, breathing out. And then work your different versions of pigeon. There's the church pigeon. There's the garden pigeon. There's the bourbon pigeon. That's what Kendall said. I think there's beach pigeons too. Oh wait, those are seagulls. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Cow face, guys, palms under the shoulders. Try to inch the right knee right behind your left and send the legs through to sit down. Again, you're trying to internally rotate your femurs. Try to grounding both sit bones, sit, sit bones evenly on the ground. You can stay high, grab your ankles, stay upright, or make your way forward and down. Putting the chest way onto the thighs. Exhale. Bring it up. Sending the legs through to sit down, spine stretching. You can grab a strap or a towel if you like under your feet, reach your arms up. Bend the knees to know so you can actually reach out for your toes. The arms have a tendency to be out of their sockets. Pull them back in, flex the toes, and then use the energy of your heart to move you through and down. Squeezing the thighs just enough. Lean into gratitude and draw in. Pratihar. Exhale your breath. Reach your arms up to the sky and begin articulating your spine back one vertebra at a time. Once you reach the bottom, happy baby, both knees draw to your chest. You can grab the outside edges of your feet. Draw the knees to the outside of your armpits and pressing your tailbone back onto the ground so you can feel your spine lengthen. You can play with your legs, move left and right. You like to feel another hamstring opener, switch your grip to the big toe side and then 
internally rotate the femur as you bring the leg towards straight. I would typically say negotiate with your neighbor. Exhale your breath. Just bring in, bringing the feet down to the ground. Listen, bring your knees together and press your feet down, scoot the hips a quarter inch to the right and just lower both knees. So they're not gonna stack. They're, one is gonna be more forward than the other. Keeping your shoulders on the ground and then maybe weighing the right thigh with the left hand. Sending the sits bones forward, just a soft twist. Come back to center, pressing the feet and just scoot your hips over to the left. Knees won't stack, just drop the knees right. And maybe with the right hand, weigh the left thigh and send the left six points forward. Come back to center. And extend the legs to the corners of your mat, flexing your feet and bringing, bringing the toes inward. Final internal rotation, draw your energy in the thighs, inhale the breath, flip flap open, arms relaxed by your sides, joining together in Savasana. Just feel and breathe. Notice when thoughts begin to pour in, let them pass you by like clouds in the sky. Feel the tingling sensations in your fingers and toes. And roll onto the right side of your body, leaning your ear on your bicep. And coming up onto a comfortable seat. Joining me in. Anjali Mudra palms together at your heart center. Quietly thanking everyone that joined you in your practice today. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you feel loved, may you walk through this earth with ease. Join me in a gnome, take a deep inhale. Ah.